naturally not everything that shimmers is gold and just as good enough has become a meme. That's what we're gonna be talking about in this video as we compare the good stuff with a knockoff coming up. Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I am taking a look at a uh, Chinesium knockoff of a product that has been fairly popular with a lot there of people. I That's have never expected. used them up until now. And the reason why is I've seen some issues with them in the past and what are we talking about we are going to be talking about the ar folders that we have on here uh, this is a new rifle to me i uh, just got this pulled together in the last couple of weeks uh, this is my new truck gun we'll be doing a full once over on this and why i chose this to be my truck gun moving forward but in the midst of that i was kind of interested in checking these folders out for a number of different reasons, we'll get into that in the next video. But I came across an ad on Facebook and Instagram for a, another style of folder that I wanted to compare with Law Tactical. Now, in full disclosure, I did purchase the uh, Immaculate folder, I think is what you call it or how you pronounce it, and Law Tactical did provide this sample to me. But you guys know how I do things. I don't get paid to say anything good, bad, or indifferent. And I'm gonna talk about the good with the bad. This video is going to be a lot of bad when it comes to the competitor to this Law Tactical. And uh, yeah, we'll get into that. So my question to you guys right off the bat is, what do you think of AR folding adapters? Do you think it is something that is necessary? Do you think it's something that is um, able to help you? in what you're trying to accomplish with your home defense rifle, let me know down in the comment section down below. In addition to that, if you don't already know, I've got my podcast up and running. We've got some guests on the podcast now. And if you guys are interested in that, I'll have a link down in the pinned comment. And I appreciate you guys checking out the Live Laugh LARP podcast. Okay, so let's get back into it. The Law Tactical Folder has been around for a number of years, and uh, this particular one is the Gen 3 version. And it is on a Gen 3 because Law Tactical has taken the time to talk with um, US SOCOM and SWAT units to find out why they would need something like this and how to improve it. And that's exactly what we're finding with this particular one. Uh, I have not used them in the past. I've taken some carving courses with people who had these on there and their rifle failed. Now, is that because of this? Is it because it was installed incorrectly? I couldn't tell you that part of it, but it did kind of turn me off on it. However, I'm always open to testing things out and see what it's all about. So when Law Tactical uh, reached out to me and said, hey, you wanna try this out? I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll take, take a look at it and see what's going on with it. So did that and then I ordered the Immaculate AR folder as well. Now, one of the big differences between the two is noticeable as soon as you open them up from the box. The Law Tactical folder is all steel. Pretty much every component on the Law Tactical is going to be extremely robust and, dare I say, over-engineered. Whereas the Immaculate was 7075 aluminum. And I don't even know if it's forged aluminum. We'll touch on that here in just a second. But you could tell an obvious weight difference. Now, that might be a good thing to some people who are looking to save weight on their AR. However, when it comes to a component that is going to be um, exposed to a lot of pressure and spring tension and so on and so forth, that may not be the best thing to um, cheap out on the material, I should say. Okay, so moving forward, uh, got them installed. The lockup on the Law Tactical is really, really solid. I've noticed no flex or um, 
shift in this as I've opened and closed it time and time again. Uh, it just feels real rugged, real strong. Uh, it does have a bit of a detent so that when you are holding it in the open position, it will not fall. It does hold itself up. So that's something that's really nice. However, when I installed the immaculate folder, I noticed an issue right off the bat. There is significant play in the hinge. So as you lock it up, there is play back and forth on that uh, link up between the buffer spring portion of the adapter and the lower receiver portion of the adapter. So uh, that was my first sign that things were not going to go very well. In addition to that, when I would rack the slide, on the immaculate folder, there was some binding right about the point where the BCG was passing through the adapter. And that has to do with the BCG extension locking device that is not as concentric as the adapter itself, meaning that it's uh, basically cut out at two different radiuses. So as the BCG was moving backward into the buffer, uh, in the uh, buffer tube rather, it was catching on that locking lever. And that is, <laughs> that's a no-go. That's gonna cause feeding issues and cycling issues. And so needless to say, we knew that we were in for trouble moving forward. So there is that. Now with the Law Tactical, no problem. This thing locks back, no problem. Let's go ahead and take out this magazine. We are clear and this moves exactly what you would expect it to if it didn't even have this uh, adapter installed. But enough of me talking about it. Let's get out to the range and show you exactly what happened with the first few rounds. All right, so we're out at the range and we are looking at these AR folding adapters. This one specifically is from Law Tactical. This is their Gen 3 version. And uh, I can tell you this is pretty robust. This is pretty solid on the lockup. You can see that it's not going to fall when it is folded. If I wanted to, I could fire with it folded. I would then have to charge it because of the, the way that it's set up. But we are good to go on that front. So there is the Law Tactical Folder Gen 3. Um, really, really solid lockup. No movement on it whatsoever. And I've been very happy with it so far. Okay, so I've swapped out the upper onto a different lower with a different folding device. This one is from a company called Amicolate. Amicolate, I believe. There's been a lot of ads going on Facebook and Instagram about this being for Americans by Americans. But I can tell you that this is anything far from something you should expect from a American company if that's exactly what they are. So uh, with that being said, this thing, the lockup on it is extremely loose. If you see here, the Law Tactical would fold and hold. This one has a detent, but it won't, it won't hold on that detent whatsoever. Um, it's made out of pure aluminum. And at this point, I'm worried about it because just holding it this way and putting a little bit of pressure on it will, I'm not even barely touching it and it's coming unlocked. So. We're gonna load this up and we're gonna see exactly what this will do. I'm afraid that it's not going to survive. It hangs up when you charge, so I don't know. So I'm just gonna stay back over here and see, <laughs> see what happens. There you go. That's exactly what just happened. And what it ended up doing is shearing the um, the buffer retaining pin. It just completely sheared that 
completely off the top. So I don't know if you can see that right there, but I'll get close up pictures. It sheared it completely off on the first round. Um, and yeah, so let's see. Let's see here if we're still loaded. Nope. So we're going to get this reset and we'll uh, continue on here in just a second. Okay, so one of the feature sets for this is being able to shoot this in the folded position. Obviously, we've seen that the uh, buffer retaining pin has been sheared off now. So, I mean, it's pretty much useless. We'll try to get a few more rounds through it, but let's see what happens if I shoot it from the folded position. I'm gonna try to keep myself away instead of, in case there's a catastrophic failure, but here we go. Yep. And the force has pushed that retaining bracket to the side and has then sheared up part of the BCG extension right there. So this thing is breaking with every single round. What we're going to do is go ahead and assemble this back and see if I can get any more rounds through it. go. Yep. It is working, but uh, I'm unable to even fold this, so it's kind of pointless at this at this juncture. In addition to that, like I like I mentioned, this doesn't even really retain it any further. So it's kind of like what's the point? So basically you're getting what you pay for. It's aluminum. Um, if this even stands up to any more abuse, I'd be surprised, but the law of tactical is the way to go. Yes, it's more expensive. Uh, it could be as high as twice as expensive as this, but this is not rated for firearms. This is rated for airsoft at a minimum, uh, or actually, rather at a maximum. So uh, again, I wouldn't trust this thing. It is uh, not worth it. It's not even worth the time or effort. All right, so as you can see, the immaculate folder failed on the very first round. Uh, again, it sheared that buffer retaining pin completely off. And I did use the pins that were included in the installation package. So you're going to get additional springs and those um, buffer retaining pins. Uh, I did use those instead of using what came with the lower parts kit. That's intentional. Now, when it comes to Law Tactical, they don't give you a buffer retaining pin. They want you to use the buffer retaining pin that came with the lower parts kit. Why is that? Well, because Law Tactical knows what they're doing and they are putting um, this together in such that it is going to be compatible with your lower parts kit. So there is that. The next thing that I ran into is uh, I wanted to see how well the hinge was going to hold up because we're talking about a steel uh, ball bearing that is used for the detent on keeping that open. But I could tell that with the way that it was marrying up and there was so much flex in it and everything, 
I knew that it was eventually going to fail. And sure enough, just opening and closing that about 10 minutes after uh, shooting it for the first time, the hinge snapped off. Uh, the more that I opened and closed it, the more that it was flexing, the more that it was bending at that hinge point. And when I tried to bend it back into place, it eventually just snapped. So um, <laughs> do not buy from that company. Now, what I ended up finding out is that uh, these individuals uh, are based out of Miami, Florida with uh, Immaculate. And what they end up doing is they flood social media with these knockoff products that are at most rated for airsoft, not actual firearms. And they get a number of people who are looking for a budget friendly item opposed to the law tactical and take their money and then don't help them out. You get a 30 day money back uh, time frame, And by the time I got this put together and out to the range because of my trip to SHOT Show and weather conditions and stuff like that. Uh, I'm now outside of the uh, 30 days. So I'm just kind of left out in the cold. Now, what these individuals end up doing is they set up these companies, flood social media with these ads. And then as soon as they get taken down because these ads are not supposed to be promoting uh, firearm uh, accessories, then they just change their name, change the branding. It's the same knockoff accessory and they start all over again and continue to make money off of it. So if you were to Google Immaculate, you will find the first two results are for a company that says right in the, uh, in the header, Immaculate made in the USA. But if you look at the website, it says aim tactic dash USA. You scroll down a little bit further and then you find immaculate.com or immaculateusa.com or whatever it is. And uh, if you go into their about section, you'll see that their mailing address is the exact same address in Miami, Florida. Now I've gotten email traffic from this aim tactic USA saying that immaculate is uh, a knockoff company and stealing their stuff. But the funny thing is it's feeding the, the search results are feeding back and forth between the two. It's the same freaking mailing address. So it's the same company, but they're trying to make you think that they're not the same company and one's trying to steal the other, but it doesn't matter because both companies are stealing, stealing the design off of law tactical. So <laughs> it's completely ridiculous. At the end of the day, I did contact my uh, credit card company and am working on a dispute, a chargeback. So um, essentially what I have notified Immaculate is that uh, their item is uh, defective. And even though that I was outside of their 30 day money back guarantee, um, it doesn't matter. It broke the very first time and I have video evidence, which is what this is. So <laughs> hopefully I'll get my money back. And if I don't, uh, that's just how it goes. And uh, it is what it is, but I'm doing this video to make sure that you guys don't waste your $130 on something like uh, a knockoff of this. Now in the grand scheme of things is the law tactical something that uh, you want to put onto your rifle. And I've heard a lot of people say, you know, they make other rifles such as the PSA Jackal or the IWI Carmel or, you know, a BRN 180, which is a AR 180 uh, design. They have all of these different short stroke gas piston type rifles out on the market today that would allow you to uh, fold the buttstock for easy storage um, in, a more reliable setup. And I just like, I totally get that. And you're hundred percent correct. If that is something that you must have, you should go with those types of firearms or maybe even an AK. However, for someone who is trying to put together a home defense rifle uh, on, a, on a budget, because not everybody has thousands of dollars to spend, you can pull this together and pay the $250 for the Law Tactical put on a inexpensive LPVO like this uh, Tacticon armament and even a light and still be under a thousand dollars. 
this rifle right here with everything that is set up on it is under a thousand dollars. I'll uh, tally that up in the full review of this, but that is one of the reasons why you might consider a law tactical folder. So, but at the end of the day, I leave it to you guys. Tell me what you guys think on these types of adapters. Obviously, my recommendation is just go ahead and spend the extra money to get the real deal. Do not buy the inexpensive budget-friendly versions because they're just going to end up becoming a paperweight. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thanks again for everybody's support of the channel. I hope you guys take some time to swing on by and take a look at the podcast. I'd really appreciate that. And as always, we'll catch you guys next time. Here comes a high five, freedom through strength. Catch you guys later. Bye, y'all.